yeah, we're always looking for um, new advances and things, uh, but the concept of um, a miracle drug like uh, antibiotics, you know, it was a bit like the atomic bomb, you know, we, we'd had, we wouldn't have dreamed of that. The year that uh, we graduated, 1939, uh, was when the antibiotics were first, uh, the sulfonamides were SIRS, first <coughs> uh, introduced. Uh, and we were aware of them and we were yeah, thrilled that we've got, now got something that uh, will be useful, uh, particularly in war conditions. All the time that we were in uh, Burma and Thailand uh, and also um, then subsequently to in, um, Indochina and back to Singapore, we had no, for practical purposes, no uh, medical stuff at all, uh, medical, suppl medical supplies. Uh, and of course, we just had to watch the people with dysentery, the men with dysentery, uh, uh, performing and fading away. Yeah, it, was, it was a pretty grim situation, particularly when we knew uh, that had we been able to get uh, uh, sulfonamides and you know, the, the, the appropriate antibiotics that uh, we would have been able to save these people. When we finished the railway, uh, a group of a thousand of us uh, was sent to Japan. When we got to, to Japan, it, it was uh, the coldest winter they'd had for 70 years. Uh, and just having come out of the tropics, it, life was pretty grim. We had an epidemic of pneumonia uh, and uh, we had, uh, we knew, of course, that the antibiotics would have helped us. Uh, and, and although the Japanese civilians uh, that we had dealings with tried to get us uh, the um, sulphur drugs, uh, Japan itself was very short. Uh, you know, the, uh, they just plain didn't have very much themselves. 